Why did you leave your country, Hungary? I left Hungary in the, in the fall of 1957, right after the Hungarian Revolution in November. What was your background and education before arriving to Canada? I just finished high school in Hungary. I was just an 18-year-old uh, student. Was it hard to make a living as an immigrant in Canada? Not for me personally. I am uh, fortunate that I came with my whole family, my parents and my brothers and sisters, quite a large family, eight of us all together. Did you work in your field after arriving to Canada? After I arrived in Canada, I went to school. I took forestry at UBC. Tell us uh, something about your career as a forestry research scientist. I graduated in 1961 and I got a job up on Queen Charlotte Island to do forestry work and uh, I stayed there for about three, three and a half years and then I switched careers, I switched over into research and development. There was an opening uh, that I put in for and I was successful getting that job so I became a wood technologist. So that was in about 19. 64. How did you get involved in wood carving? Uh, I have been painting and drawing all my life. My, particularly my mother uh, was very strong influence, positive feedback. My brother and I used to copy pictures from magazines and my mother used to show the drawings to, to the neighbor ladies and uh, they said, no, I don't believe that this kid couldn't draw something like this. Believe it or not, that's how it started. So I was drawing and painting my whole life. And I got into wood carving at quite a late stage when I was about 50 years old. It is a, a beautiful carving, uh, what uh, we see. Uh, what is the process of wood uh, carving? Well, th there are a couple of very in important things that you need to keep in mind. Perhaps the most important is good cutting tools, whether it's knives or, or chisels, but equally important is the right choice of wood. It's very important. And it's very important uh, that you were commissioned by the city of Seattle to do a wet coat carving to be donated to the city of Pex in 2010. How was that experience? Very interesting. That was the first time I carved kind of a totem pole. Uh, I wasn't so much uh, commissioned. Somebody phoned me up, would I do a, a job? I guess it was a commission. Uh, they wanted something special. They were celebrating the 25th anniversary between uh, Seattle and Peach. They were sister cities. So they wanted to give a special gift on this occasion. So that's how it started. Could you tell us uh, something about Pex, which was uh, declared by UNESCO as a World uh, Heritage Site, as is known as a European City of Culture? Yes, it's a, it's a lovely city, beautiful architecture, and uh, in Hungary, uh, uh, arts and culture very important, uh, not only wood carving, uh, embroidery, but also dancing uh, and classical music. So. Pech is a lovely city, it has a certain energy, a lot of uh, museums, uh, for example the world famous Zsolnai uh, uh, ceramics, ceramics are rooted in, in Pech. Actually I visited the, uh, the museum when I was there in 2010. And if I might uh, give you a little uh, sidebar here. I was telling my colleagues, the Hungarian foresters, that I did this carving and that it was going to be dedicated on the 26th of September in 2010. So they said, well, you are going, aren't you? I said, look, I can't really go. I can't afford to go. It's very expensive. We just had a granddaughter. And here I will get a little uh, uh, emotional because a week later, one of my colleagues sent me an airline ticket to Hungary. 
Now, just so there is no mistaking what we are talking about, we are talking about $1,400. So I was, I was asking a, a mutual friend, can Miklos afford to send me to Hungary? And this friend said, yes, of course he can. And I will pick up your other expenses. So for two weeks in 2010, 2010 I was smiling ear to ear because I was traveling in Hungary for free because of the goodness of my friends. Actually, I got teary-eyed when I opened up the envelope. What other expositions for your work do you have? I, I do carving mostly as a hobby. It's kind of ironic. Most of my uh, big monumental pieces, I have carved it for papal currency. In other words, free. I didn't charge for and uh, the page carving, I got a nominal uh, uh, monetary uh, reward. Um, but uh, perhaps the biggest carving I have is out at UBC, a Transylvanian gate. And I have carved a number of memorial posts. Uh, for example, Calgary was uh, celebrating its 100th anniversary and the local Hungarians uh, commissioned me to do this carving, there's a picture behind me somewhere. Uh, we can see a 12, 12 feet tall uh, carving. There's another one in Ottawa, a similar uh, circumstance. So I have some of my carvings in Japan, but the most not uh, noteworthy is the one, the Transylvanian, Transylvanian Gate out at UBC. Uh, the end. Uh what will be your uh, advice for immigrants to Canada? If I uh, start out from my own experience, it was a very pleasant experience in that when we came to Canada, it was such a, a, a beautiful feel, feeling to be free. Not to have to worry about the police, the secret service. In Hungary, in my childhood, there would be four policemen standing on every major intersection. Here in Canada, I didn't have to go to the uh, uh, local authorities to tell them I have arrived and to, to get permission so, so I can go and visit Kelowna. So the, the freedom was the most uh, uplifting feeling. Another feeling was the material well-being. In, in Hungary, we were poor as a church mouse. Here, even if you had me, a menial job with very low hourly wages, you could rent a room to live in, you could fill your tummy, you know, you could buy good quality food, and you even had a bit of money left over to help your parents or to go to the movies. So for me, it was a very positive experience. And of course, us immigrants feel that we have to give a little extra. And, and uh, you know, you want to blend in and you want to do well. So I think collectively we have been a good uh, addition to Canada with our uh, hardworking attitude. Thanks to be here with us, Laszlo. Thank you, I enjoyed talking with you. <laughs>